Hi, it's Phil from Teach Blend, and in this video we're going to have a student look at Microsoft Word's new feature, which is the editor. Now, editor builds on the Microsoft spell checker, essentially, and what it does is it allows you to not only spell check words and grammar mistakes, but also look at things such as a similarity checker, how well your Word document actually reads, some tips and advice on things such as how formal that document is, and more. So let's have a look now at Microsoft Word Editor and how it can be used to help you in your studies. I hope you find this video useful and if you do, give us a like and subscribe to Teach Blend. It really does help make more videos. Thank you very much. So the first thing to do is open up your letter or document and as you can see here on my example, I've got some common mistakes inside it. What I can do is I can click the editor button in my Office 365 Microsoft Word and this will load up the new editor pane. Here you'll see various things. The first thing you'll see is an editor score, and this gives you an overview of how well your document reads, the spelling mistakes, grammar, punctuation, and more. You can also change what type of document this is. So if you are looking at making a professional document or more a casual document, and these will change the recommendations. Here you'll see corrections such as spelling and grammar. So if I click on the spelling mistake, I am then given the idea of what the correct spelling is. I can be also ask it to read that spelling aloud for me to double check. I can choose to ignore it or select that spelling correction and it will change it in my document. I can also do the same with grammar as you can see here and this will guide you through each one and as you click each mistake, it will help you change the spelling mistakes or grammar mistakes. Here you'll also see things such as conciseness and formality. As I chose I wanted to create a formal document, it's helping me create that document more formally by adding in extra things such as spelling in the entire word. And there's all sorts of options in here such as inclusiveness and vocab. You'll also see a similarity checker as well, which tells you if you have copied anything from online. So this is great before you, for example, turn it into your assessor. You'll also see things such as stats, such as how readable your document is and how long it will take to read. You'll be able to change things such as enhancements. So it might say, for example, to use subtitles or to add headings in, and you can just click these. I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, please give us a like and subscribe to Teach Blend. Thank you.